Today, uh, the Appeals Chamber delivers its judgment uh, on the prosecutor's appeal against the decision of the pretrial chamber 1 of the 4th of March 2009, entitled uh, Decision on the Prosecution's Application for a Warrant of Arrest against Omar Hassan Ahmad al-Bashir. The Appeals Chamber's uh, unanimous decision on the appeal is as follows. The decision on the prosecution's application for a warrant of arrest against Omar Hassan Ahmad al-Basir is reversed. To the extent that the pretrial chamber one decided not to issue a warrant of arrest in respect, in respect of the crime of genocide in view of a, an erroneous standard of proof. The pretrial chamber is directed uh, to decide anew on the basis of the correct standard of proof whether a warrant of arrest in respect of the crime of genocide should be issued. On February 3rd, 2010, Judge Erki Karula summarized the decision of the appeals chamber of the International Criminal Court in The Hague on the prosecutor's appeal against pretrial chamber one's arrest warrant decision in the case of Omar Hassan Ahmed al-Bashir. The appeals chamber found that the pretrial chamber made an error in applying a higher standard of proof when assessing the evidence presented by the office of the prosecutor in respect to the crime of genocide. Therefore, the appeals chamber directed the pretrial chamber to decide anew on the prosecutor's application using the correct standard of proof. At the outset, I'd like to emphasize that the present appeal was not concerned with the question of whether Mr. Omar al-Bashir is or is not responsible for the crime of genocide. Rather, the appeal addressed a, a question of procedural law, namely whether the pretrial chamber applied the correct standard of proof when disposing of the prosecutor's application for an arrest warrant. As a result of the present appeal, it is for the pretrial chamber to determine anew whether or not the arrest warrant for Mr. al-Bashir should be extended <coughs> to cover the crime of genocide. The appeals chamber has not considered this question in the present appeal, nor has it made a finding that there are reasonable grounds to believe that Mr. al-Bashir acted with genocidal intent. Pre-trial Chamber 1 issued a warrant of arrest for Omar al-Bashir on the 4th of March 2009 for crimes against humanity and war crimes. The Chamber rejected the prosecutor's request in respect of genocide. The Chamber found that the prosecutor failed to provide sufficient material in support of the charge that Omar al-Bashir had the specific intent to destroy, in whole or in part, the Fur, Masalit, and Zagawa groups in Darfur. Consequently, the crime of genocide was not included in the warrant issued for the arrest of Omar al-Bashir. Thank you very much. The hearing is closed. All rise, veuillez vous lever.